Indu has issued a no time warning, alerting aircraft of possible GPS interference along air traffic routes within its airspace in Mumbai, New Delhi and Kolkata. The Indian Tri Services have concluded Exercise Tree Shul 2025, wrapping up a high intensity series of coordinated operations across land, air, sea, cyber, and space domains. The DRDO has inaugurated the Integrated Non Destructive Evaluation Complex at the High Energy Materials Research Laboratory in Pune, marking a major advancement in India's capability to inspect, analyze, and certify high energy materials and explosive systems. Boeing is working with US and Indian authorities to draw up a revised delivery schedule for the delivery of three Apache helicopters without further delay. The setback occurred after the Turkish government denied overflight clearance to the AN-124 cargo aircraft at the last minute, leaving the aircraft grounded in the UK for eight days, before it was forced to return to the US. Turkey has temporarily grounded all of its C-130 military cargo aircraft as a precaution, after its C-130 aircraft crashed in Georgia while flying back from Azerbaijan. With two S-400 squadrons still pending delivery from the 2018 deal, India has urged Russia to provide a firm delivery timeline. An Indian Air Force contingent has arrived in France to participate in Exercise Garuda 2025 from 16th November. The 8th edition of Exercise Ajay Warrior between the Indian Army and the British Army will be conducted from 17th of November 2025 at the Mahajan Field Firing Ranges in Rajasthan. The Philippine Marine Corps has revealed its first operational BrahMos shore-based missile battery, which is now confirmed to be the BrahMos Block 1 variant. The Ministry of Defense has signed a contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited for the procurement of 5 km range in Varanti tank missiles for T-90 main battle tanks, at a total cost of 2,095 crore rupees under the Buy Indian category. South Korea's Hyundai Heavy Industries and Cochin Shipyard Limited have signed a strategic MOU to jointly design and locally manufacture the Indian Navy's landing platform dock. United Kingdom and France are now aggressively pitching designs and technology for the third indigenous 70,000-ton NSV SAL Next Generation aircraft carrier. France's naval group is offering a modified 75,000-ton PAN class design with triple ML's tracks with joint research and development in India, while the UK has offered a BAE lead ML solution with interoperability concepts. The Indian Army is upgrading its Pofers FH-77 howitzers with electric recoil systems and lithium-ion auxiliary power units that will improve reliability, firing speed and stealth. NT Power System Private Limited has emerged as the L1 bidder, with prototypes due by mid-2026. Around 200 guns will be upgraded at a cost of 150 crore rupees, extending the Bofors life by 20 years. The DRDO has developed a fully indigenous vapor compression machine, to manage the intense heat generated by advanced ACE radars being integrated on Super Shukhoi fighter jets. It is designed to handle up to 10.5 kW of thermal load, that will boost reliability and reduce dependence on foreign cooling systems. The vapor compression machine will also support platforms like Tejas Mark 1A Mark 2 and AMCA, where liquid cooling is critical for high-power gallium nitride-based radar modules. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.